This is Deborah Johnson on creating an online course or online masterclass using Zoom video. It's now easier than ever to create an online course or masterclass using an online tool like Zoom video. It is important to have really good content, and I suggest also good downloadable instructional materials and guides for any course that you create. But here we will focus on using Zoom video. The process starts with your computer or phone, of course. If you have an iPhone, you have an excellent camera. However, with online courses, you will want to include other visuals like slides and illustrations. I also suggest you create a script. Your basic setup can be simple, but preparation is important. Make sure you have good lighting. I love the ring light. I have several others I've used quite often, but the ring light has become my favorite, especially in using Zoom video. It is very portable and easy to access, set up in the back of my main computer monitor. It also has different levels of brightness. Your backdrop can also be simple. I use a portable screen I keep in my office. I have put links to the products I use in the notes below. For quality video, I like the 1080p camera and have it attached to a flexible arm to keep it at eye level so I can talk right into the camera. The quality is much better than my computer camera and I feel it's at least comparable with the iPhone HD camera. The beauty about Zoom is that if you have the account with cloud storage, the video is easy to download and you don't have to transfer any large files externally from a camera to your hard drive. Even though my Mac has a fairly good microphone, I use the Yeti Blue mic as the quality is much better with very little reverb. Both my camera and mic are connected with a USB cable. Always check your levels in the Zoom preferences and make sure your connections are working. You should be able to see that easily. Make sure you have enough level on your microphone. You can either turn it up or put it closer to you. I've even held it in my lap as you can't see it on camera. But with the Yeti, make sure you don't press the mute button. You won't hear a thing on your recording. When I talk directly into the camera, I have put my script on a Google Doc that is visible on my computer monitor directly behind the camera. You can also use a prompter, but this is a very simple system for shorter courses and works extremely well. I first record all the video where I will appear live in front of the camera. I know I can quickly edit and cut that footage in sections later. Then, in Zoom, you will click off the picture you see of yourself directly in front of you in the monitor and click on your script. Now, simply speak through your direct-to-the-camera sections referring to your script, and you can pause the video after you are finished, or simply then share your screen. You can edit this part out later. You will now bring up any visuals you have. These need to be on your desktop. I bring up my full PowerPoint presentation. With my setup, you can see my laptop to the side. One of the basic reasons for putting your script on Google Docs is that you can access the script now from your laptop. Again, you can also use a prompter, but this is a very simple and budget-friendly solution. With the PowerPoint presentation now in the play mode and my script visible on my laptop, I go through my entire presentation. I manually scroll down my script as I forward the slides appropriately with the arrow button on my monitor where Zoom is recording. It's a bit of multitasking with two separate computers, but very simple and doable. I encourage you to write a script and practice this. The great thing about Zoom is that you can do it again and again if the quality or the pace isn't what you desire. I have redone several of my presentations because of this and have learned something different each time that has increased the quality of my recordings. These are the basics I use on Zoom for a simple online course or masterclass. I then download the video and I prefer to master the sound which evens out all sound levels. 
I do this on a program called Alphonic. It's very reasonable in cost and easy to use. Again, that information will be in the notes below. There are also many video editing programs available. I have used Final Cut Pro for years, but started out on iMovie and Final Cut Express. You will want to do a little editing to your exported video. You can also farm this out to your virtual assistant or someone that you find on Fiverr or other freelance service as well. They can even create beginning and end frames for you with your information and photo. But before doing this, go through your footage and identify the exact times of where you want sections placed or cut. Specific directions are a must. So that's it, at least the basics in working on Zoom video. Hopefully, this gives you some ideas and encourages you in your creativity and your ability to create quality content online. It will free you up and move you closer to your ideal lifestyle, especially during challenging times of travel, illness, or business. If you want to work more remotely from a home office, definitely pursue this. Until next time, this is Deborah Johnson. <laughs>